In this video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite ways to run the Pats sale in Madden 21. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. All right, guys, so Pat Sale um, out of the New England Patriots playbook has been one of the best bunch passing concepts for years, and this year is no different, but I've got kind of a new way that I'm running it, and I honestly absolutely love it. It's really good against the Blitz. It's really good against Mabel coverage. It's really pretty much good against anything that the defense is going to do, and the way that we're going to run this concept is going to utilize some really good concepts um, that we've actually been using over on the trips to the inside of things. And I highly recommend if you're going to run this setup, I mean, you obviously need to have Hot Route Master, but I also recommend that you have um, a receiver that has like short in or short out elite on him. It's going to make this crosser just absolutely insanely hard to guard. Um, but anyways, let's dive into this. Now, if you want to get my New England Patriots playbook, um, or I've actually broken down everything in the playbook, um, not just one formation, we've actually done all the formations, you can get that down in the description of this video. But I absolutely love this setup. This setup is probably my favorite setup in the game right now. This Pat Sale post route is not as good as it used to be. So if you want to create this concept from a, from something other than that, all you have to do is just put the receiver on, like flip your bunch to the short side, put the outside receiver on a post, and then just flip it back. And now you'll get this, um, I think, a better post. But I like to just use Pat Sale. You can, it, it, it really is it, – it, it, both are really good. So – we're just going to do that. I actually like to put the running back on a table route. This is going to help really clear out the zones. It's also going to give me a read that I can use against the pressure. The other thing that I like to do on this play is I like to go ahead and streak uh, the tight end vertical or just simply block him or put him on a delay fade. All of those are options on this play. So I could put him on a delay fade if I wanted. I could block him. I could put him on a streak. I just don't want the tight end to go to the flats. And the reason why I don't like want the tight end to go to the flats is because he's not he's doing, he's going to kind of mess up our hitch our hitch um, which is the primary route that we want to be going to the flats. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the circle receiver on this play on a hitch route just like this. And then I'm going to take the R1 and I'm going to put him on a crossing route and I'm going to motion him to the left and snap right there. And you're going to see the spacing on this play is insane. What's really cool is that um, you, what you're seeing is a 30-yard flat zone. So a popular concept a lot of people like to do whenever they're playing the bunch is they love to go with something like this, some version of a cover two. Cover two this year is really, I think, the best way to defend bunch um, from just a stock zone, especially base line. So my flats are on 30 yards on this, um, so they're really deep. And I just wanted to watch, I want you to see what this route combination is going to do to it. So this hitch route uh, paired with this streak and then the crosser coming in behind it, you're going to see that that 30-yard cloud flat, if he's base aligned like that to the outside, he does. Um, he is able to defend there. But if he's not base aligned, he's not going to be any help. Now, another thing that you could do with this if you wanted to is you could actually, um, instead of motioning the R1, which is the primary receiver in a lot of plays, we could motion Brown on the crosser, but if we did that, um, then we would basically take the X and put him on an out, uh, an out route. The problem with the out route is that it does attract the. It, it, you'll see right here in the Mike Blitz three that thirty yard flat. See how it can get over there. Now again, you could pass it over the top of it, but it's a lot dicier of a concept. So I really like, um, I really like to do the other version. Now, um, as far as how, how can you deal with this Tampa 2 play um, and all of this, th this Tampa 2 coverage is really, really good, especially if they do it essentially like what you're seeing right here. I just need to take this guy and spy him. Um, but their user has to go vertical deep if they're going to do this. But anyways, if we run this setup with the circle receiver, um, we've got great spacing on this left side. The other thing that you're going to be able to do is this Pat Sale post sale, uh, or Pat's, whoops, this Pat Sale post route with a as a low ball with a gunslinger quarterback is really, really good. It beats every coverage in the game. Obviously, I threw a pick right there. 
Um, part of that's because I don't have the gunslinger ability. But what you're going to do with this is this running back route is going to clear out all of these zones. And if you want to, you can also put the running back on a wheel route, which will also um, really help with the spacing. But what you're going to see is, see how open that is right there in that pocket, very clean and very easy. So oftentimes your user is going to primarily um, go ahead and jump to the pat sail route. The reason why is because they probably are anticipating that their flat zone is going to cover the crossing route. But they have to stay with the crossing route for a specific amount of time. They can't just leave it um, whenever they want. And so because we have such good spacing on this play, I can throw this crossing route like right in that little pocket right there for a nice low ball, especially with Gunslinger. And this thing is going to really help us um, be able to just continually be able to move up and down the field at our uh, at our own pace and our own wheel. Now, um, what if they blitz you, right? So if they blitz you off the edge, my favorite thing to do out of this play is to simply take the table route. Uh, this table route, you see that linebacker blitz, you just pass it right to him. And as you can see right there, I'm upfield for an easy five to seven yards. Now, let's just say, um, let's just say for example, that they basically bring this guy down and they try to really get underneath on that table route and then you're gonna have, you know, basically to make a read over here. What I like to do in this scenario, this is why I like to use an out route to the tight end. So in this scenario, what you're gonna see is this little out route right on the cut is gonna be there for a possession catch. The other thing that you're gonna have on this play though, um, especially if they send pressure, because most of the time when they send pressure, you're gonna get this kind of look, and then they're gonna try to bring this guy down to deter you from throwing the running back. Um, but the other thing that I really like against the blitz, um, whenever I'm getting something like this, is this route to the, to the square receiver. Right on the cut right there. As you can see, he gets wide open um, against that coverage. Now, let me let me run that back and let me, um, let me get better timing on everything here because that was pretty bad timing because I didn't put the running back on a route. So let's go back over that one more time. So you see here, I've got the table route and then I've got the crossing route and then I've got like a little out route right here. Obviously, I can work the seams quick, but the other thing that I can do is, as you can see, it doesn't take long for that pat sail post to come wide open. And if they are, again, this is really specific adjustment that they will do, but if they jump, if that safety really bites down on the running back route, it is virtually impossible for them to stop this, this uh, square receiver. So he bites, easy read right there on the cut, right there, easy read. So I have that. Also have um, another way that you could run this uh, if you wanted to. If you were a little bit more uh, worried about the blitz, this isn't as this is okay. Um, it's an okay version. It's, it's a good version, um, but basically it's a essentially it's a hitch flat combo. So I'm gonna take uh, R1, put him on a hitch, put X on a flat, and do it this way. Um, there's just no vertical strain on the right side, which is not that big of a deal because of, it's from Gun Bunch. But as you'll see here, um, you know, you can still throw your crosser, but the, if they have a yellow zone over there, but, but this is more for like a pressure. So if they send pressure out of this look right here, you know, they're sending six or five, um, then their user is basically going to have to choose. Does he go to the post or does he go to the hitch? And oftentimes they'll leave the hitch unguarded. So this is one of my favorite little concepts um, right now out of the gun bunch. I think it's a really good little crossing route kind of combination of things that just gets open against pretty much any coverage. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get my full New England Patriots offensive guide where I break down every formation, including the trips tied in, the U-trips, the bunch, the split close, and many more in the New England Patriots playbook, you can get that guide down in the description of this video. I think it's going to be the best offense in Madden 22. So if you want to get a head start on the competition, there's going to be a link down below.